for call. Okay. Now we are having a cluster uh, which is running with some uh, seven dot x uh, ESXi servers. Okay. And our vCenter is running with uh, vCenter 8. Okay. So this is the current scenario. Or else I can show you. vCenter is 8. Yeah. vCenter is 8. And our, all our ESXi servers are running with uh, ESXi 7. Now the scenario is how you are going to update your ESXi versions to 8 by using the lifecycle manager. Okay. So first thing what you need to do is go to the lifecycle manager. Then go to imported IO source. Okay. So my ESXi current version is 7. I, I want to update yeah. it to upgrade to 8. So eight. let me get an uh, 8. VM Visor 8. Okay. Okay. I have an uh, VM Visor installer 8.0 update to B. Let me upload mm -hmm. this. <laughs> Using this ISO, I'm going to upgrade all my ESXi hosts in the cluster to ESXi 8. So adding to repository, let's wait for some time to get it completed. Okay, now this is my ESX version, which I'm going to upgrade. So let's verify the current uh, version. Current ESX version is, it's uh, ESXi 7.0. Two one nine three zero five zero eight. Okay, we are going to upgrade this to ESXi uh, eight. So yeah. let's yeah. go to yeah. Lifecycle Manager, and I already uploaded the ISO for uh, which is going to be used for upgrading the ESXi. Let's create a baseline here. So new baseline and. I'm going to use this for upgrade, right? So ESXi yes. upgrade from ESXi 7 to ESXi 8. Oh, it's not going in the reverse direction. ESXi 7 to 8. So upgrade, then click next. Now I uploaded an ISO file, right? With the ESXi 8.0 update to that is getting displayed over here. Right. Just select this and then click yeah. next and then just revive. Next. Okay. So we just created a baseline and provided a description and then we added the ISO to the baseline. Click finish. Okay. Now we created an ESXi yes. upgrade baseline. You can just remove <clears throat> this. Yes, sir. We click it here. It is showing the builder number, uh, version, then creation date. Everything has been uh, displayed here. Okay. Now let's... Uh, Go to the inventory and then let's select the cluster. Okay, go to updates. Mm -hmm. Then here, the first option is baselines. What you have to do mm -hmm. is you have to attach your baseline here. Attach. Yes. So to cluster. create and attach a baseline, attach baseline or group. So this is our baseline uh, which we created for upgrade. Click attach. Now ESXi upgrade baseline has been attached. Okay. Now just select this, and then uh, you know, like uh, you need to do a compliance check. 
Mm. Okay. So let's do a compliance check on this one. Check compliance. So scanning is in progress. Let's wait for some time. Okay, so here after the scanning, it is showing us three of three hosts are non-compliant. Mm -hmm. Okay, three have non-compliant baseline. Now we need to remediate this baseline. Okay, so what we can do is uh, we can uh, just click remediate or else uh, before that, let's do a pre-check remediation like uh, whether it is giving any warning or not. So it is giving a couple of warnings. One is HA admission control will be uh, disabled. That's a normal warning. VSAN health check failed. Yeah, VSAN health check will fail because we are not using the compatible hardware for VSAN for this cluster. That is the reason it is getting failed. Both are accepted. Okay. Both you can mm -hmm. accept and then uh, ignore it because this can be safely ignored. Okay. So this... Um, Remediation pre-check didn't uh, provide any critical uh, error messages, just a couple of warnings. Both the warnings can be safely ignored, then done. Okay. Now, if I want to remediate this cluster, just to ensure whether DRS has been enabled or not. Okay. Because when you do it on the cluster, it will do the host one by one. Okay. By moving all the VMs to the other ESX server, take the host into maintenance mode then do the upgrade and then move to the next host. That's how it will work. So let's verify whether, uh, okay, DRS has been enabled here with uh, fully automated functionality. So this is what expected, okay. So let's do one thing. We'll uh, go to the updates again. Select and then remediate. Now, first option, it will ask you for accept the general terms. Just read and then accept the general terms. Then click next. OK. So here, you need to read all those stuffs carefully. OK. Uh, so here it is mentioned, pre-check has found some issues that may prevent completion of remediation. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so we already aware of that. That can be safely ignored. Okay, so next is like uh, three hosts will get remediated. So remediation status, it is ready for remediation. So next is what it is going to do. It is going to upgrade my existing uh, 7 ESXi with this 8.0 build 2330 and type is upgrade okay next is scheduling options like are you going to schedule this uh, operation to run later if that is the case you can click this one and you can provide the date and time for execution so we are not going to do uh, the remediation uh, uh, by scheduling it so instead what we can do here is click uh, go to the remediation settings and then VM power state, do not change VM power state. Okay, so mm -hmm. if the VM is powered on, put it in powered on. If VM is in powered off, let it be powered off. Okay, so mm -hmm. don't change any of the VM state uh, while performing this upgrade activity. So three attempts every five minutes. So, okay, retry entering maintenance mode in case of failure. So suppose if it finds it difficult to get a host into maintenance mode. How many times it can try? So it is going to try mm -hmm. almost three attempts. Every five minutes, it is going to try three times to put the host into maintenance mode if it is getting failed. So this will try only if the maintenance mode option is getting failed because here maintenance mode automatically it, it will take the host into maintenance mode. Okay. Then next is quick boot option. This is one of the future. 
so what it will do is uh, it will reboot the host but not from the bios level so see whenever a host gets uh, rebooted if it is rebooted from the scratch uh, by doing the post test and all from the bios it will take time right so instead right. we have a quick boot option uh, which will uh, reboot uh, only the host not at the host uh, the uh, hardware level okay so i am not going to enable this because we are using um, we are using uh, this um, virtual machine which nested esx right so i am not going to enable quick boot because already it's faster okay so next is ignore warning about unsupported hardware devices yes just select it because there are possibilities uh, we may get this uh, warnings because we are running with nested esx next is parallel remediation okay so you always ensure you know like uh, parallel remediation is disabled parallel means at a time we are going to uh, perform the activities on all the esx servers that is not a, a case here because see suppose we are doing that in a production you need to do one by one not in all the esx host at a time okay if there is no production vms running on those esx server at that point of time you can do a parallel remediation okay mm -hmm. so parallel remediation let's put it in disabled state okay mm -hmm. and then once you revived everything just click remediate so there is some task in progress here you can find a remediate entity so first it has touched this esx02 on maintenance mode let's see uh, how it is performing the activity you can also test here uh, whether esx02 is getting rebooted or not that is the case you can find here also okay let's wait mm -hmm. for the remediation task so now host is not responding set which means it it might be restarting yeah it's rebooting yes okay see now the change now it is coming in 8.0.2 earlier it was 7 right now it yes. has upgrade to 